Conservation Commission open, and I will entertain a motion to approve the minutes for our May 2nd meeting. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. And we have two new public hearings, and I'm going to open the first one that's listed for 109 Spring Commons, and I will read that into the record. Under the Wetland Protection Act, Chapter 131, Section 40, of Mass General Law is amended, and the West Bridgewater Wetland Protection Bylaw Rules and Regulations, the West Bridgewater Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing the 16th of May, 2017, in the McDonald Brown Conference Room, 65 North Main Street, for a request to amend an order of conditions SE 328-703, filed by Jacobs Driscoll Engineering, on behalf of Jack Peters, to review revisions made to the Spring Common subdivision design during the planning board process and determine if they are subject to the Wetland Protection Act. And we are open. And we have been asked if we could continue this hearing to June 6th. And not having anybody here, I am going to entertain a motion to continue. Motion to continue to June 6th. I'll second it. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Almost quick and easy. And then next we have 125 Bedford Street. Question. Are you a voted member yet? Or are you still a not yet? I haven't got any. I gotta put you on the right call. <laughs> <laughs> right. I will read that one into the record. Under the wetland. Protection Act, Chapter 131, Section 40 of Mass General Law is amended, and the West Bridgewater Wetland Protection Bylaw Rules and Regulations. The West Bridgewater Conservation Commission will hold a public hearing the 16th of May, 2017, in the McDonald Brown Conference Room, 65 North Main Street, for a notice of intent filed by Silva Engineering on behalf of Gregory Maroney to construct a single family home, driveway septic system, and associated grading with in a buffer zone previously proved wetland at 125 Bedford Street. And we're open. And I have stuff to hand out, and you have some green cards. Sure. Those. What do we have? Hi, I'm Larry Silva from Silver Engineering Associates offices in 1615 Bedford Street, Bridgewater. And uh, what we have here is one that uh, we actually brought before you a number of years ago. And it was approved, but the work wasn't done, so everything expired. And so uh, we've, it's been resurrected. Um, and this is on Bedford Street. There was a a one lot subdivision that was approved by the planning board from Mahoney Place, which is basically it's a glorified driveway entrance that's coming in. House sits way in the back of the property behind the house that's on 125 Bedford right here. It was a, um, an isolated depression that was uh, in here before um, that, was, that had been approved. Uh, everything had been approved uh, for the construction. Um, one of the one of the things that we've gone back and done because the flags obviously had uh, disappeared over time we went back staked them all out put them back in their locations so that they would be refreshed and uh, the only other thing that changes from what was originally proposed was the style of the house a little bit but as you can see that's really kind of on the outer on the outer side of the uh, of the buffer zone and uh, so what we're trying to do is to get a reapproval from you folks and then also from the Board of Health for the septic system that uh, had been designed before. And we're going out next week just to do a, uh, a validation on the groundwater elevation. Uh, it's one of those perks I, I remember very well because it was 100 degrees. <laughs> 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 I remember crawling out of there when I was done. Um, so pretty much that's, that's really what we're looking to try to do. Um, it's been sitting here, you know, after it was approved, they just sat there for all those years. Okay, we kind of ran into that, you know, recession and 
nothing went forward with it. So this was in front of us just like this before? Yeah, it was. Yeah, actually this is the one right here. That was before you, right here. Same thing. The isolated, non-protectable depression here, the house here, driveway, same thing. This one here, you can see the 125 Bedford Street. What was discussed or said about the, the access easement? Is that being changed, left, used, abandoned? Are the access easement in the back? Yeah, or across the, the whole... On the most recent plan you're giving us, it has the nine and a half white access easement that goes right through. It's something that shows up in the deed, but it's, uh, it's, it's I'm trying to remember if we had much of a discussion on it way back when. But there, it was something that was never utilized. It was, uh, I don't know why it was created, but it does show up in the deed, so we showed it. Um, I know that's not anything that's a viable access to the back I mean, I'm side just over here. Worried about somebody deciding to want to use it and utilize well, they, it instead of using the driveway as an access through the wetland. Oh, no, no, now no. we're dealing with it. I mean, if, once it's continually on a plan. It's, it's on a plan. Mm -hmm. There's no way for us to extinguish it because it's actually on someone else's deed. So, but it's obviously not a practical easement at this point. And I'm sure that if, uh, if uh, the homeowner here were approached about it, um, they would have to work out something that allowed them to get from here to their driveway and modify it. So the green dotted line, that's the, what is it, what's that, the 100 foot? So this is yes, the, the, um, up at the well, top, Larry. Up at the top, yeah, going through the septic the system? Oh, this one here, that's the, that's the 100, 100 here. foot. Uh, that's yeah, the, that's jurisdictional. Uh, uh, if it, uh, I should say that really wasn't it's jurisdictional. Huh? I, I guess the question is, should it really be on there or not? Right? The well, just a, well it it probably should. Under right. the Wetlands Protection Act, the they they uh, did a volume calculation of the isolated depression, and it doesn't qualify as a quarter acre foot of water six inches deep, etc. But your bylaw doesn't doesn't look at it the same as the Wetlands Protection Act. So your, your bylaw looks at an isolated depression. So we, so we actually have it labeled differently than we did before because of that. We actually show it as an isolated depression and we do show a jurisdictional limit. I should say that's <coughs> under your bylaw basically. So under the wetlands it wouldn't happen. John, do you have any? This was a pri previously approved. Yeah. Yes. And, and any notes on why or? Uh, well, they they had a um, they put a conservation easement on all of the isolated wetland area yeah. and recorded it. So it's right. recorded at the registry, and all that does is it provides uh, extra protection to it. It doesn't provide any access easement. It's before the fifty it was. No, it wasn't before the 50 requirement. It just said um, it was no other alternative because you you don't have any way to access it except for in the 50 foot buffer to get out to the the back portion. Hmm. If they had built the driveway, Larry, doing the perk test now would be pretty easy, but. If yeah. you had to crawl all the way from Bedford Street and 100 Street. Yeah, we got to either go try to go through each yard or something. Yeah. So you gave Get us the, you gave us the easement, so you could use the so you could do the driveway to go through. Yes. Yes. Do you have anything else, John, on this one? No. Um, fact that it was once approved. Oh, well, I did make some comments about um, there's a couple of things that need to be uh, added into the um, filing, which would be the delineation fee, since it was an old line had expired. Um, the actual gentleman who was going to be buying the property, which is now the applicant, came in and I spoke to him. I spoke to uh, him and explained to him that uh, we would accept the line, but he'd have to pay the delineation fee. Mm. And apparently he didn't convey it's that same information to Mr. Silva. 
Yeah, because I didn't hear about it, so I just read this. What kind of wall is that against the driveway? Uh, well, we're showing the uh, we show a detail on it as being a ready rock, pre-engineered, or equal. So uh, like could just be a set it company. down, set it in place. Yeah, block a block construction wall. Okay, nothing you have to really get no, into. No, not really. Just set it down. Yeah. Okay. It's basically, scratching the surface, putting it down just below. So the other thing that he'll need is a, a request for the certificate to release the original order conditions that got filed. And if the commission does approve and issue a new one, you can't have the two of them at the same time. So we need to abolish <coughs> that one. If again, if the commission's interested in issuing, so a just so I'm clear, do we need a waiver on the fifty? You should grant a waiver on the fifty for the driveway. And. Generally, historically, if people have no access to their property, like in this case, do we issue waivers on that yeah, basis? Yeah, yeah. Just so that they can get in there to. Yeah, was there any, any mitigation on yeah, here? Easement. Right here? Put, put all of that into an easement. Okay. All right. And it's recorded at just the Just so we're, you know, we're following oh, yeah. up the path we always do. So, all right. Yeah, we have to be consistent and. Yeah, and that was yeah. what the past uh, had already. Bit of a dilemma getting in there. Yeah, <laughs> it's a no-win situation. <laughs> Helicopter. No, I'm all set. However, continue till the next meeting so we can close the other one and do all that. Yep, and get the firm map uh, correct. So what was yeah? What was the issue on the, the firm map? It was, uh, Showing the wrong place? Yeah, it shows uh, South Street in the intersection of Bedford and South Street, and it doesn't extend mm -hmm. up into Bedford Street. All right. The, um, I think the problem, Larry, is that uh, when you do a firmat for that, and you yeah. print it out. Um, sometimes when you click it, it takes the next map over, and uh, I've had the same thing happen to me. In a, in well, we had this happen in East Bridgewater. Yeah. And I was, I was just trying to figure out how to stop this from happening. So this is this is what it shows, and it's everything um, west of side. South Street, and here here's Bedford Street intersection right there. So it needs to be the next right. next piece. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay, we'll go back like that. All right, hearing nothing else, I mean, I think we're ready to finish it, but we just need to finish everything else first, so. Yeah, and there was some t uh, discussion about, um, one of your comments was about the stormwater? Oh yeah, it needs a stormwater uh, bylaw application. So if you can get that in before the next meeting, um, then we can process it all at the same time. Okay. okay. We'll make sure we take care of all these loose ends. Also, I'll entertain a motion. Motion. Continue. I'll, make, I'll entertain the motion. Second. Move the second. All those in favor? Aye. So do. This is being continued to June sixth. Six. And you know, if it, do you want him to appear for that, or in maybe, maybe? I don't think you have to if everything's in. And okay. Okay, I'll make sure we get all in, and then you tell me you have everything that we get. You gave everything in that <laughs> I'm actually here that night in the next room, I think, anyway. Oh, yes, that's right, for the... For the next room that we're talking about, right? Yeah. Oh, no, not, well, not really. <laughs> <laughs> After that discussion today, it's actually for the lot in the store. I might be talking about that, one too. All right, for continued hearings... Two fifty two Pleasant Street. 
Right, 252 Pleasant Street really hasn't gone anywhere since, uh, I guess since you opened it, Rebecca was here then. Um, I don't know, were these items actually discussed with her at that time about the, because uh, you got the stormwater one in here also, right? Right. Yeah, both those items were on the meeting report. I don't know if I gave her a copy of the okay. meeting report. All right, so here's where we are with it is um, we've made application to the zoning board because that's, that's one that both... Um, the zoning board permit and your permit had actually expired on that one. Okay, so we're trying to get both of those approved right now. And when we're trying to get them reapproved, there is minor changes from what was there before. The building got shifted over to the right a little bit. Um, the drainage, the parking and the drainage are slightly different, but they really basically essentially the same. Um, but the zoning board's asking us that we have sort of a department heads kind of meeting today. They're asking for some information about the site and how it's going to be operated and stuff. So there, there, it's a possibility that um, it may be the meeting after that next meeting, right? That we probably want to go to, correct? I mean, so because we won't be able to do anything until after I get through the zoning board one on the sixth. So I would say that we should, if we're going to continue th uh, that one, we should go to the. He's the meeting after that one, huh? What 21. Is that, the 20th? Yeah. I'll still be here. <coughs> That's the week I get married, though, right? <laughs> yeah. That's the week he gets married. Uh, so that would be what, the 20th? The 20th. Yeah. Okay. You don't want to do this the week you get married. Huh? <laughs> you don't want to put your feet in mud the week you get married. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can actually have Rebecca do that one if I have to, but it's okay. actually earlier in the week anyway. It won't be till the weekend. Uh, Larry, uh, in my report, you probably haven't had a chance to read it thoroughly, but um, I indicate that um, that this should be either re-reviewed by the ZBA's <coughs> consultant, if they decide that, or yeah. um, by us, and we have to know what they're planning to do. So right. if you can let us know. Yeah, I mean, my, my position with them is that there really hasn't been anything of substance that's been changed in it. You know, uh, but that's really their call is whether or not they're going to involve uh, the same review uh, consultant or not. Because we reviewed, uh, we relied on their... Undone last time? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, so you'll know that um, after that ZBA meeting on the 6th, I'll make sure that you're aware of what took place. So keeping that in mind, uh, I suggested 21 days after the applicants received... Uh, approval on the drainage design by the ZBA's consultant that may not be necessary so why don't we make it for the 20th and, and see, see where, where it stands it and then make a decision to either continue or all right I'll entertain a motion to continue to the 20th <coughs> motion to continue Second. to the 20th Second. all those in yeah. favor aye. aye so moved all right thank you very much and I think that's all you needed to be here for <laughs> all right. I'm out of here. Don't tell your office. <laughs> What's that? Don't tell your office no. that you got out early. I mean, you're welcome to stay. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. I'll go home and eat dinner. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next, we have 200 Spring Street. I'm alone, so you have to be. You have to be <laughs> just to call us. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Where is it? Yep, I think we've got. end up with? We ended up with the, uh, oh, this is an older one. No. Can I use this one? Yeah, yeah this is the one. Is this, this one, one, the one that you left, yep. Okay, mm -hmm. let's use that one, because we got the markers on the
<laughs> oh, okay. yep. So we have the conservation markers here, here, and here, as well as the filtra uh, infiltration system. And then in return, we're gonna we're gonna go with the five foot wide conservation uh, easement trail easement, which will bring you right up into this beautiful uh, <laughs> pine grove that's up there. I'm excited about it. I think on the, on I think the Woodchuck good. Chase parcel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it right behind you? The Woodchuck right. Chase parcel trail. Like, little side, like, right there. Yeah. <coughs> so any any talk that we did over in here, we're basically sort of trading for this access. Yes. Yeah. I mean, allow, I mean, it's all, this has all been previously lawn or disturbed area <laughs> yeah. anyways. Yeah, yeah. Um, we're not quite to we're getting the shit. More. We're getting this storage container out of the fifty right. foot buffer. Right. No, that was going to stay. The storage container is going to stay. Yes. It goes. We're going to move it to to yeah, here. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, mm -hmm. it went all the way down here in order for him to to do this. Yeah, and then this right here. Don, I think we. Did we go like this or something like that to an angle? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we did it so, to an angle to. So now we're not to compensate for for giving that, for giving that. Yeah. So we're not going to do that. We're going to go with the, the the easement here and then have the post here and the. Yeah. You, know, you might parking wanna... for the trail that is right in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for you, yeah. Sure. Come, come on. on. <laughs> You're asked. Come on. <laughs> Explain that would be nice, but this is my leaching field of my septic tank. Oh. That's all I need to have someone. We could park along the driveway. E explain yeah. Nice turnaround area down there. Yeah. So you can That's true. You can actually come right around. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm easy going. <laughs> explain yeah. what you were going to do uh, with the blueberry patch area and that kind of thing near the, the storage trailer. Eventually, I, eventually I do want to put a, a row of blueberry bushes along here because that does drop, drop right down in this. this you know, you're gonna no put them in you here. Can't, you can't do it anymore. No, it'll be right. Yeah, be right yeah, in this area here. Probably yeah. right, right, right in there. All right. Um, and I'm, uh, you know, I, I, the, there's nothing. I don't really plan on doing anything over there. This would be the garage here, so I'd be coming in the garage here, mm -hmm. and I have a little um, a yard. Well, yeah, just a little garden right here. How do we build this? By the way, the uh, trail. Trail. Just uh, going to be uh, trimmed out. We do out. it, or the open space, open space open committee space. will do it, and they'll gotcha. just trim it out and walk okay. through a path. They won't actually do any construction. It's a renovation of an old one, isn't it? Not on, not on this side. Uh, Spring Street never had access I mean, to. It never really came up before, but is, yeah. is the shed on your property, or is it on somebody else's? It's mm -hmm. on somebody else's. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, so we'll I, let them fight whether yeah, you yeah, can leave yeah, it there right. or not. Yeah, right. <laughs> Um, no, I own the property next door. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'll fight with myself. All right. <laughs> what are you doing? I was just going to say something about that, but like, yeah, you said the same thing. I'm like, yeah. mm -hmm. no. So the other half of them will say, get it off the whole thing, and <laughs> this other half will say, yeah, right. Yeah. And then well, we're really only spot. dealing with this one piece of property. The yeah. storage shed's on the other, which is a wetland violation because it's within the 50 foot. Yeah, I know. I get it. I, you'll see me next year. <laughs> I've learned a lot. So then the trail <laughs> will have to get moved <laughs> yeah. because it's another permit and it's within well, the violation. Well, that's about this, without a doubt, this has been a learning uh, learning. So you got a learning curve for this one, and yeah, you'll be an expert by that so, one? Yeah, exactly. So now I'm going to make sure that... You're not putting a house over there on that side, Yeah. Yeah, you might you might have got me on that one. <laughs> so, so. All right, including the property. Next door. <laughs> Let's renegotiate. No, I mean it. it. He also explained that um, that he's concerned about the neighbor and um, that they want to be able to make sure that the neighbor is an inconvenience by anyone walking down through there so um, the open space committee will have to work out something with them to uh, make sure that they don't impose upon the privacy of the of the next door neighbor so he's concerned of what's going on in the neighborhood <coughs> and all the time excited about um, having it go back to what it was as uh, as he remembers it when it was actively used as 
woodchuck chase and had the trails and the little bridge, bog bridges and things that went over the little uh, wet areas that were out there. So in its heyday, it used to be a, a place that was enjoyable to go to. A lot of youth groups, got, uh, Roselle McDonald School used to take uh, the kids out there. And Boy Scouts did uh, some things out there as well. So. I'm fine. I think that's a good good arrangement. Yeah. All right. Anybody else? Anything? If not, I need a motion to close. I'll make a motion to close. Move second. second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We will need a motion to enter or issue an order of conditions. I'll make the motion. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved, and we will need to entertain a motion for a waiver of work within the 50 foot. Motion for the waiver. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. So move. Thank you. <laughs> Done. I'm <coughs> not sure what I do now. <laughs> you you will um, be able to pick up a order of conditions that okay. I should have ready sometime on Thursday. Okay. Or any time after you want after that. Okay, great. Right, right. Right. Hamburg hot dogs. Mm -hmm. Hamburg hot dogs. Right, let's, let's have some kind of grand opening. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Good job. Bye. All right. Thank you. All right, thank you. Nice thank that will be next summer's golden Yeah. Next summer? <laughs> next oh, summer's golden Just don't do it in the shed. Did the, uh, <laughs> did the plan get right, guys, thank you. folded thank up and put in the, in the folder? Oh, yeah, fold. Oh, he's oh. oh. It's the only one I've got. <laughs> I have to figure out which one it is. So that really gives us access that we never had. Right. Sorry about that. That's okay. Uh, I think it's the next one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Of course, it's the last one. <laughs> it's got to be that one. That's the only one left. <laughs> Uh, zero Belmont Street. They've asked for a continuance because um, their wetland consultant hasn't had a chance to address the 53G that reviewed it for the commission. So they asked for uh, for the next available meeting. So I assume it's the sixth. Okay. I'd like to paint a motion to continue. I'll make a motion. Moved. Do we have a second? Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. <coughs> and the lamp post estates subdivision look like that. We received Request. the plans uh, around new time or <laughs> after uh, <laughs> today, and um, of course, obviously, I haven't even had a chance to open them, and uh, we've got to make copies so that they can get it, we can get it to the 53G, and so. Um, they had asked that even before I complained about it, I got an email right away saying they would like to uh, continue it, give us time to review it. So that one is to the six as well. I'll entertain a motion to continue. Motion to continue. Second. Move and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So move. And it looks like Lucas states. Building in. Same thing. Thing. Yep. <laughs> I'll entertain a motion. Motion to continue. Second. To move to do we have a, is it the next meeting? Yep. Yes. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Just Kitty, do we have any new ones for next meeting yet? No. Just a, a okay. note on that, uh, Lucas states um, the they haven't paid the uh, fee for the 53G review, so we got to get that in. Um, we haven't even got the plans that they're talking about revising. Mm -hmm. We mentioned that they were revising it as I was talking with them this afternoon. And so um, I'm anticipating that we'll be getting the plans, let's say, sometime maybe next week. And I don't anticipate that on the 6th, June 6th, that we will 
be able to really yeah. have a, a final report from the 53G, so we'll have to continue it. But with the holiday week in there and everything else, yeah, I could foresee that that may not make. Why don't you just do it till the 20th as it is right now? Well, he he asked for the six, but that's I don't think that's really going to happen. So right, we'll plan we'll for it, but knowing we're probably going to have to continue it anyways. Just so that everybody does get frustrated and saying <laughs> what's going on with this. But. Dragon that one out, huh? Yep. And the planning board, from all, all the indications of the uh, minutes and things, that they were not happy with the original design. Uh, too much, too many um, underground structures, too close to houses. So I don't know if they've eliminated a lot and one lot to open it up a little bit more. But um, it really wasn't a. I don't think uh, the proper amount of density for that type of wetland shape, just too irregular, and uh, put wetlands between homes, and they tried to have the houses too close to the wetlands, of course, 50 feet away, but mm. just wasn't all that workable. So hopefully the next set of plans will be a lot nicer. I'm surprised nobody's coming yet with a new development with solar. And having the whole development like a solar, oh, you know, oh, done yeah. solar yeah. like that. I know. Surprise something. Yeah. Um, I figured that'd be something that'd be coming in. Mm. <coughs> have like a solar panel, like right. one big one. Use one lot for yeah. a one solar. Lot for a solar thing. So that'd be something. Yeah. yeah. Lovely. Instead of putting it up on a roof. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, we are on the roofs, but yeah. still, but even if you just, uh, you know, put it, like you said, the roof in, in one out of yeah. the number of lots just is attach a it to the houses. Especially with so many of them seem to be coming in as associations now anyway, so yeah. you've got a private, w in private ways and, you know. Yeah. Private electricity. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> they, so it could be for free. Yeah. 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 I think what happens is the developers look at the lot being worth uh, mm -hmm. what 150, yeah. 190, 200,000, whatever they are, um, and that you'd have to put a lot of solar up to make that pay off, and that's not going to pay off to the developer. It'll pay off to the homeowners that are all in yeah. there. But, but you could also but then you could sell the uh, houses yeah. from you'd think it would add for each one yeah. to you'd, make you'd, up you'd for that one. So. Yeah, pretty soon. Yeah. The, um, before we move on, uh, it reminds me when you start um, mentioning something like that. Uh, does anyone remember the uh, Hebshi parcel of land that's off of Brooks Place? Um, comes in off behind the Brockton Country Club, mm -hmm. Samuel Ave. There's a huge tract of land up there with all kinds of brooks and streams and, and wetlands. Um, a wetland consultant called and asked if um, they could get a waiver on the delineation fee up there. And I said, well, you know, <laughs> I suppose, but um, what, are you, what are you talking about? Is there a good reason to waive any of the fee? And they said, yes, because it's at an amount that's equal to two Audis. <laughs> If you were going to buy two Audis, <laughs> and I said, "Well, yeah, that's that's probably a, a pretty expensive wetland delineation," mm. and uh, and so they wanted to know if there was any justification for it. And I said, "Well, the only justification that uh, the commission's considered in the past is uh, for septic uh, repairs, where people have got to go through the cost of putting in a septic." Um, being on a fixed income, I said, but when a developer has the potential for making uh, possibly a million dollars on a project, I don't think it would go very well. How All many right. acres, John, do you know? I don't know, but I, I know the parcel's probably um, close to 100 That's acres. All right all back behind the golf course, right? Yes, now. all the way up to the Brockton line. Yeah. Oh, I know. John needs a new car to go out and do his <laughs> inspections. So. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to pay us an Audi. <laughs> pay us an Audi. <laughs> <laughs> I figure it's at least... No you know, used ones either. Come in and they can't afford to do that. Yeah. Range Rover. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, John can have a discovery. Yeah. <laughs> Discover a lot of things. But that all goes into the general budget. Yeah. So. And I think the only other thing I'm seeing on our agenda is a discussion. The town has received a notice for a pending sale of Chapter 61A land, which is 345 and 373 South Elm Street, which is actually, I looked it up on the GIS mapping because I couldn't quite figure out what it was. Yeah. And it's two residences that's actually on one parcel. It's right on the corner of Lincoln Street and South Elm. There's a house and then one further up. So there's two houses on one parcel if you want to. That's not that big old house. Yeah. And then the white one. Coops. And then the one right on the corner. Not Marauders. This is Russo's. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I'm not even yeah. familiar with it. That's so. with it's past the dump as you yeah. head down yeah. okay. to go back up Lincoln Street. Oh, yeah, this is yeah. the one right on the corner. You used to have the teepee in the backyard. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. So that's. Um, and um, and if you look at this parcel, Alabama. yeah, this parcel, really, it's along the road here, yeah. and a crossing into here is the only upland. Yeah. This, all back here, is all wetland. Yeah. So I, doesn't, it doesn't connect to anything we have, mm -hmm. and realistically, the way this is so wet, and it's on the state GIS mapping. Um, so it usually means more. When yeah. you actually <laughs> get to it, it right. means it's probably more than the what's parcel shown. is probably so. Whatever development happens is going to be right along the street. Right in here. Not this. Well, if they tear these down and build something, they, could, they yeah. could. Yeah. Um, this house, looking where it is, probably wouldn't be built today. Gotcha. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's... But that's in the store. Right. So. Yeah. So, I mean, you might be able to get... I mean, there's only 630 feet here and 510 yeah, here. And you've already got two house there. lots in there. Right. So, I mean, you're two, three, four lots, maybe? Mm -hmm. Are they looking to put lots in? I don't know. They just yeah, they, they said in yeah. the letter that they were going to put up to five lots. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Oh, there's there's two of them. This yeah. This piece is she uh, owns, Naomi's. Yeah. Naomi's and, and this is her hers and she rents her back part to it. Yeah, Herbert is um her husband. So um, State, yeah. Yeah. if it were this piece. I'd say that piece would be. Nice. He'd be interested in doing something with. But it's but only yeah. this piece here, so. But that piece, though, would, you could put some houses in behind that other one. Yeah, that'll that'll go for more nine hundred and fifteen thousand. Mm, yeah. hmm. So if if the letter's true and it was five lots at nine hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, you can see the value of property in town if, mm -hmm. if you were to. Break that down for a lot, so. Hmm. And that's no like town sewer. <laughs> can you imagine if it was town sewer? I asked if I wanted to sell my house. I really stayed at the beginning. Yeah, really. Yeah, that's it. You're what interested. What was the amount of really? money that yeah. is being offered there? You're good now. Yeah. Not that I got a notice in the mail, and then she called on. Nine fifteen. Some families looking in town. Hmm. You can't find something. Oh, no kidding. Well, give it a couple more months and developments are going to be going up left and right. That's right. There's another lot on Stony Wind, too. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. Several. Yeah. I mean, do they want us to vote yes or no to accept it or just ignore it? Oh, yeah, no, I think we want to. I'll entertain a motion to not accept the offer. I'll make that motion. I'll second that one. Do I have a second? Second. second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moved. Anybody else have anything else? I know we have a river walk oh, yes. coming up, which we might as well promote, which is on the 4th. And what are the hours? Because I didn't have it. Um, 10, 10, 10, 10 to 2. 2. But there is a uh, run walk um, event or competition that will take off at around nine, and uh, registration for it's at eight thirty, and people can run it and time themselves up and back, or they can uh, walk it and time themselves. So eventually, if there's enough interest, they might start actually having timed 
uh, runs to, for people to be able to see how they do. Yeah, $8.30, $2 a person. But War Memorial Park, Beaverton Woods, the Keith House will be open, Historical Society, um, all kinds of stuff going the on. Library, so. The library will have um, a table or canopy under a table at the River Street Conservation promoting a uh, little concert that they're planning to have uh, on the River Street parcel in August for mm -hmm. part of the Henry David thorough uh, 200 anniversary of uh, his birth. Gonna open up the open up the trail into a trail tour? Uh, one, wants to one, <laughs> one person who lives not too far away um, who uh, has worked for the state in conservation type of mm -hmm. work uh, suggested that we tear half of the, s the side off and make it a stage. So not get rid of the mobile home, but open up one side of it and have a covered stage. Sounds great. <laughs> so it's suggested at one time to have somebody take it for a chicken coop, and that didn't pan out. Uh, a stage. You know, who else can it's come up with around. it? Chicken coop. You can have a raffle with it, I thought. We could have a it. fake raffle. <laughs> push it in yeah, the river. Push it in the river. Aren't they doing that with a ship recently? Yeah. Yeah. We've, we've had uh, a, a lot of different discussions with people uh, who are interested in helping us out. And um, I'm hoping that within a week or two, that uh, one of them will be firmed up and we'll have a definite answer instead of just having a whole bunch of different uh, ideas and maybes and that kind of thing. I think we'll try to get it zeroed in on someone who will, um, where I will be able to tell you definitively what's going to happen. I know, we'll have a raffle and whoever wins gets to take it home. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. Yeah. Your kid's right. clubhouse. <laughs> what about that, you see the tree that broke off behind the oh, yes. uh, minister's house mm -hmm. into the river there? And what happens if that thing breaks off and goes down and get, I could see that going mm. under the bridge going oh. down to the park and oh that's busting cold. all that stuff up yeah. after fixing all the stuff down the park. Right. Um, that uh, I spoke with uh, the owner of that property and they have indicated that a tree guy is going to be removing it. Yeah, that's good. That's going to be pretty dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> Anything else? I had 17 minutes on my machine, so mm -hmm. I... Good timing. Guys yes. Just right. I'll entertain a motion. I'll make that motion. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Woohoo. <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting that, Paul. <laughs>